I'm going to make a phone call, dear. Okay. Ken, how did your mother find out? I don't know. She did somehow. Mm hmm. Anyway, it's for the best. <sighs> Hello, Sarah. What, are you kidding? But what do you mean, Mom called the media? Yeah, she did. I heard her doing it. She told them that you were getting married to Ken Verall in secret. Oh, man, Mom. She wouldn't let me go to your wedding. Well, you didn't miss anything. It was unpleasant thanks to Mrs. Natalia. Why, what happened? Ken's mother crashed the wedding. What? What did she do? What do you mean she crashed it? I can't talk right now, I'll tell you later. Sis, just a second, wait. But you got married, right? Yes, yes. Ugh. I got scared for a second you didn't get married. Sis, I miss you so much. When will you move to your new house? I don't know, since we don't have a house of our own yet. How do you not have a house? I'll tell you later. I kind of can't talk right now. Here, give me that phone. Mom, what are you doing? Hello? Anna? Mother? Yes, it's your mother. Did you tell the press that you were on the outs with your mother since you didn't invite her to your wedding? Mom, what are you trying to do? Are you aware of what you're doing to me? Well, this is nothing. You haven't seen anything yet. I mean, since you don't want me, I'll do even more. Is that so? Uh, hello, Anna? You okay? Mm -hmm. Sarah, what happened at the wedding? Did Miss Natalia make a scene? Mm. Of course she'd do that. Everything has to be done properly. If they want to get married as they wish, well... Mom, really, don't be ridiculous. Like she'd have come here and meet with you if everything was done properly. The media hasn't said anything about it. They'd break the news if it were about some singer. What do you mean they haven't? Why have they? Yeah, it's everywhere. How so? Look. It's on all the gossip sites. All of the social media is talking about it. Look. Oh. So they actually did write about it. Ken is so handsome. Just look at Anna there. God, she's so beautiful and she looks really happy. Where's my cell phone? I have to make a phone call. Who are you calling? Mom, tell me who you're calling. Would you like anything else, sir? Oh, listen. Add this to my account, okay? The groom shouldn't pay on his wedding day. Excuse me, but why are you treating us? Did you get married? Oh, God, really? Can I buy my good friend dinner on his wedding day? Besides, do you have any money? You're totally broke now. I don't have money, but I have my love. Excuse me. Can he pay the bill in love? Looks like he can't, so I'm paying it. Listen, the honeymoon suite's canceled, too. Let me loan you my summer house. Why would the suite be canceled? Don't worry about it. What are you talking about? Don't you get it? You don't have any money anymore. I do. Everything will return to normal tomorrow. How's that gonna happen? You'll see tomorrow. Melissa, what is it? I'm looking at news about you on the internet. Of course there's news. We posed for the press saying we got married. Tell us whether we look good or not. <laughs> Have you seen... I want to tell you something before we all get drunk together. I'd like to thank the both of you for not leaving us alone today. Ken, but of course. Your happiness is what matters most to us. A new life will start for us from this point forward. Tomorrow will be a new day for us. What's going to happen tomorrow? What are we going to do, dear? It'll be a free day tomorrow. Nothing matters as long as I have Anna with me, as well as our dear friends. Ken, 
I'd like to confess something to you in front of our friends if you'll let me. A confession? I wasn't in love with you at the beginning. Only touched you loved me so beautifully. But I trusted you completely. Like I've never trusted anyone in my life. But today I understood that I really am in love with you. And I will only love you forever, Ken. I promise you that.